Hello everyone, my name is Heiner and welcome back to another episode of Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode we made this uh, huge steam chamber where we can have all our uh, hot equipment and all our hot machines. As you can see we put our molecular forge in here, we have a glass forge, of course an aqua tuner to keep all the steam turbines in check and maybe some more. Um, and also we have some hydrogen generators here in here as well. We move that of course from a different spot. Uh, but yeah, this will be a nice way to get some power back. Actually generate quite a bit of power from all the machines that are just generating heat. What we did as well is of course we got some fullerene and with that, with our molecular forge, we made some super coolants. Uh, we have, well, I think this is not everything. We have over two tons already. So that is a lot of super coolant. That's already 200 pipes of super coolant, which is a lot. And we have still quite a bit of fullerene left. I think Nails is also still on the way to mine more fullerene. So uh, yeah, we're, we're good on the super coolant, I think. And we're gonna use that to make a lot of cooling loops uh, very efficient. We also, of course, or reorganized our liquid pipes. So now all our pipes that go to the spaceships are here, nicely organized. Other than that, we have nice uh, storages here. We have pickup areas for all our important liquids, uh, except the polluted water, of course, because of wall fans. So we're, we're not gonna make a pickup area there, but all the liquids are now available for us to pick up easily. So in this episode, I want to really enable this steam chamber. Uh, so there's already a little bit of steam in here from this glass forge, but this is not enough. So you will see here, these mesh tiles are still pretty cold. Actually, everything is still pretty cold. This is 15 degrees. I don't know why this is a little bit hotter, but basically everything needs to be heated up and all this water at the bottom needs to be turned into steam. And actually, this is not enough water, it's only 60 kilograms per tile, which turns into three kilograms of steam at the max. So that is not enough. I'm going to do that by adding mostly the metal refinery. We uh, of course removed it in one of the previous episodes and we're going to use that again. And the cooling of the metal refinery liquids is of course going in the steam room so we can extract some power out of that cooling liquid. The second thing I want to do is on Grossini. We haven't paid a lot of attention in our episodes on Grossini, but Bunny is doing well. She cleaned up, of course, all of this bottom area. Uh, all the slicksters have been moved to here. Um, but what I want to do in this episode is dig out this area. Of course, we're going to get a lot of ice and we will expose at least three volcanoes. Uh, we have one here. You can see the neutronium. We have one here and one here. I don't know if there's more here, but we will see. Uh, but this will, of course, give us a lot of ice, polluted ice, snow, etc, etc. And uh, we made a storage for that on Havanilios. And this is not really nicely automated. And I want to change this system a little bit. So if we bring over snow or ice, that we can nicely bring it in here. So that we always end up with a clean lock here without having to manually make these switches. That's, of course, not optimal. Other than that, I'm just going to do some minor things like cleaning up this water and this here. Uh, and what I also want to do is finally end up making this a round trip. So right now there's only a pipe going up and I want this to be a loop. So if we ever get some liquids up here that don't belong in the supercoolant, then they have to go back down and then jump back into this loop here. So we have a nice flow going around and eventually finding the correct liquid. So the first order of business is actually going to be reorganizing this automation. For that, I'm first going to uh, remove everything that I've made in the past uh, when it comes to automation. So let's do that first. I'm going to do that at a high priority. All right. Now, so th this is all now free. Uh, and what I want to do here is actually make use of the uh, fact that if these doors are closed, they actually put pressure on pressure plates. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add some pressure, some weight plates. Uh, let's, as a nine is okay, let's put one there. Oh, we have to deconstruct this first. Okay. All right. That's in place. So let's add the weight plates there and there. So if these both doors are closed, that means that this door should be open. Uh, what I can do is make an AND gate. You can add that in here. Then we need the wire. If this one is true, so we have pressure on there and we have pressure on there, then I want to open this door. And that should already 
do it. So let's see that actually in action. All right, now the only thing that I need to do is uh, make this one automatic and this one automatic so that these two are actually going down. I should have made this automation wire actually at the end. Let's see if this works. All right, so now you see that this is a vacuum if those two doors are open, but our duplicates can actually just walk to here now. Huh, let's just grab Devon here. So if I say Devon, move to here, that is actually now possible. So we can go to here and this will actually be open. So Devon can go through. And he should also get, be able to get back. There we go. And this automatically opens when both of these doors are closed. Um, the only problem is that this is a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little bit of power so we can make this faster because these doors are quicker if they are powered. So this is going to be the main priority, uh, but I'm already going to look at the next thing. This is, going to, this is going to be ready once this is all built. Our next order of business is going to be the metal refinery. Of course, uh, we are getting more and more steam here uh, because we are making quite a bit of glass but I want to lower this priority a little bit. This can also go to five. I want to make a metal refinery and I think I'm gonna make this here at the bottom. So I'm gonna make a couple of tiles so that we can reach everything. Then we're gonna add the metal refinery. So the metal refinery will go here. Uh, of course it needs power. So we're gonna drag that over from here for now. And let's make this all as a lower priority as the one at the top. So I'm gonna bring this over so we have power. Then I want to have some storages to feed this. So I need probably one more here because I want to have three storage bins. And I want to automatically fill this with an auto sweeper. So we're gonna have that one as well here. Of course, also powered. So this metal refinery is going to get some liquids and it will output li uh, liquids again, of course, heated by a lot. In order to be able to do that, I need to have some bridges, one bridge to get into this system and one to get back into the metal refinery. So let's set up some bridges here so that we can do that. So one that's going to go there and I guess one can go here. That should already be enough. Uh, then we just need to empty the tile in the middle. So apart from this, I also want to cool down this metal refinery because it will get a little bit hot. And for that, we're going to add some extra plumbing. Uh, we're going to make some insulated pipes here. And then we're going to go back with radiant pipes out of aluminum, of course, like this. And that should already be sufficient to cool down this metal refinery. Then we need to, of course, have pipes coming in here. So for that, we are coming from the steam room. I'm gonna make a couple of pipes in here. This should already do it. And then uh, we have to get out of here and uh, back in there. And then we need this pipe as well. And then for the um, cooling liquid, I think we're gonna make some petroleum in here. So I will make that uh, later on. Right now this is a low priority, but I'm going to make some petroleum and just leave it in this loop so that we will have enough to start this up. So uh, already to get that in place, I'm going to make a liquid bridge going like this and then some pipes going up. And let me disconnect this one as well. Uh, then I also want to move this rock crusher, which is now doing nothing here. I've disabled the building, uh, but I want to move that into our steam room. I'm going to make it out of steel, of course. We don't have that much steel, but that's not going to be an issue once the metal refinery is done. We're going to make a lot of steel. So I think the rock crusher I'm going to make here and then move over the pipe here, the move over the wire here. And then last but not least, we're going to make this round trip. So I'm going to make it as a six and then just go back down here. And then somewhere like here, I'm going to go to the left and then jump back into this line. And that should already be it. In the meantime, uh, I should also give uh, Bunny some instructions. Uh, this is still cleaned up. As soon as we have some polluted dirt or something like that, I want to clean it up. Uh, but I want her to get uh, into digging everything up. So the top here should all be made free. I want to have a nice layer towards space. Uh, of course, this also has, uh, all has to be drywalled up so that we don't leak any gases. So yeah, that's quite a bit of digging, uh, but 
Bonnie has been doing quite well digging all of the bottom up, so she's quite good at that. In order to get into this area, I already made this uh, mini liquid lock here. So we can just dig up this. Then I want to get rid of the sponge slug before anything bad happens. So let's just attack it. And then we're going to make a layer here. And looking at this neutronium here from this geyser or volcano, I want to make this layer here. So that's one higher than this. There is an anti-entropy thermal nullifier here, which we might use in the future. But let's see, we have insulated tiles. We have a lot of igneous rock and I'm gonna make a nice layer just about here. I also want to demolish this stuff, but that's not possible without a special skill. So Bunny, you're gonna get some extra skills. Let's see, we need demolition. Morale wise, she can take it. So let's just do that. And we also get some extra construction. So that is actually not bad for now. In the future, I also want to get into mechatronics engineering, but as you can see, the morale would be a little bit too high for now. We also need field research for the volcanoes. But before we start with the volcanoes, I will skill scrub Bunny so, uh, she will not have demolition anymore because that's a waste of morale at the end. So while we have demolition, I also want to deconstruct all of this stuff here. Just get rid of all, everything. It's not really doing much, a little bit of decor, but it's not really worth it. So let's just deconstruct or oh, demolish as it states here, everything here. Oh, in order to get here, of course, we have to uh, extend this ladder uh, and at the top here, we need to replace, or we need to make a lot of ladders. In order to do that, I am, and we also need a lot of igneous rock, by the way. So I'm going to prepare that a bit by making two storage bins. Uh, one will be filled with igneous rock and one I will fill with plastic to make all of the ladders that I'm going to need here to make all the drywall. We don't have that much plastic here right now. We need 50 per ladder, so we don't have enough. So I'm just gonna send over a bit more. We have a storage bin here, so we need some manufactured material, plastic, five tons. Let's make it 10. We have plenty of plastic here, 358 tons. And if we have too much on uh, Cassini, we can always send it back. So the bins are ready here. So I'm gonna fill this one up with minerals, igneous rock, and then this one is going to be plastic. And I want this to be done first before anything else. So I'm actually gonna remove all of this so that that is not done first. All right, here yeah, the plastic is in, so let's drop it on the floor and then our auto sweeper will nicely transport it to Corsini. This is also pretty full now, so I'm just going to lower this priority um, and then we can work with this igneous rock. Ah, that's not good. Uh, that's already a problem. This sponge slug already sucked up all the liquids here, so we need to have our bottle emptier here, so we can drop a little bit more of ethanol, otherwise we lose all our precious gases to space, and that's not what we want. All right, in the meantime, we also are ready here with our metal refinery. We of course need to have a little bit of liquid in here, and we have to finalize our loops. So this cooling loop will go like this. Uh, we can cut this one off. So now we also cool this part. Oh, we have to, of course, make sure that the water does not go both ways. And then here we also need to cut this off so that the water knows which direction to go to. So now we can connect this up. And then uh, let's take this one and connect this up. And then we have a full loop for our metal refinery. All we need is some liquids here, and for that we're going to enable this again, set this to a high priority so we make some petroleum that we can feed into our metal refinery. So yeah, let's let that run for a bit. Oh, I don't want to change that one. And this will slowly feed this loop. Uh, we can just let it go and feed until it's completely full. It will just stop once this uh, line is full. So we have now a little bit of storage here of plastic 10 tons and 20 tons of igneous rock. So we can start uh, working on the rest here. So let's make a couple of plastic ladders here and we can start with our insulated tiles out of igneous rock. And as I said, it's gonna be at this point. So I'm gonna do it like that. And of course we need to dig out a bit so we can reach everything. All right, all the ladders are replaced so we can make all of these now as far as we can get. Um, I'm actually also gonna replace this one with a heavy white joint plate. Oh, and we have to put our 
ethanol in here and there was a little bit, a bit of ethanol here all right this is already completely full so let's uh, deconstruct this bridge and then we can reconnect this here and then we should have enough liquid in here for a loop so we can start making steel uh yeah we have plenty of stuff here so let's just make 20 of these uh let's just make them as a seven and just see what happens here because this steel of course is going to uh, create a lot of heat uh the storage bin also need to be filled by the way so our auto sweeper can do its job and here we go everything is now filled so we can also deconstruct these pipes here and 214 degree water is coming out here it's going to immediately put all the heat into uh, the water here and there we go we already have steam that's how fast it can go of course we have way too little water in here as i said before so uh, most of the heat is going to collect on this side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some more water in here let me see regular water and of course this should be nicely cooled by our cooling loop Again, you can see that this is already have a big impact on these mesh tiles that are also already getting to a nice temperature just from a couple crafts of steel only three uh, and we're going to make a lot more let's actually also queue up a bit of iron uh, because we also will need more of that yeah there's more water here now and you will see that this will evaporate very quickly let's drop a couple more bottles here and then we should be good whoops that's a little bit too much ethanol uh, but uh, yeah okay this liquid log is going to be very solid uh, that was not my intention whoops and you can see Bunny is now already working on making the scaffolding so we can build everything here. As for the liquids, uh, I want to pump them all over to our main planetoid. So let's make a couple of pipes here that go over. Uh, let's do it like this, this, and then here somewhere. We're going to get some pipes. Let's just make it through here. And then here we can jump over into our uh, pipe that goes to the main planetoid. All right, this room is now nicely starting to fill up. Uh, we have a good temperature uh, and our steam turbines are almost going to be activated. And down here, it looks like we still have a very acceptable temperature. So it's not like we're dumping too much heat on this side without the rest being able to keep up. Uh, how much water do we have here now? 213 kilograms. Let's stop this for a bit. Let's stop adding more water so we can start uh, evaporating everything here. Because this is also cooling down the steam, of course. And you can see we already made 1400 kilograms of steel. So this is going to be very, very quick. Here we can see that uh, indeed the water is coming over is using our overflow, uh, our return pipe, and then coming back in here. And the polluted water is going in there and the regular water is going in here. So yeah, this is now a nice finalized system. Um, one thing I also want to do here actually, we have 1100 kilograms of super coolant there. Uh, I want to exchange this pipe of polluted water, so this cooling loop, with um, super coolant. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect this pipe. And I'm going to make sure that we have a bit of super coolant in here. So we're going to set this to a bit of a higher priority. And we're going to make a uh, bypass down again. So B, uh, we're going to have a pipe here. Uh, let's make that at a high priority. And a liquid bridge also back in there. And that will make sure that we remove the liquid from that pipe. And then we can connect this up and add super coolant in there. So let's connect this up. Uh, that also means that I want to disconnect this here. So we just empty everything out. So now you can see all the cooling loop is emptying. Uh, we still have quite a bit of uh, liquid in here, but that's gonna get emptied rather quickly. And then we're gonna uh, add the super coolant in this loop. All right, the pipe is now empty. So let's disconnect this again, connect this up. Uh, we can deconstruct these and then we can connect this pipe, which would mean we add super coolant in here. And I want, of course, to fill this up again a little bit. So we're going to disconnect this for a while. Wait, why is there, why is there polluted water here? 
uh, that's a little bit annoying. So let's do it like this. And then we need to empty. Uh, it's going into the steam room. That's going to be an issue. I guess it's going to evaporate, right? Let's empty this. Okay, we have polluted water here. Let's sweep this up. And then we can reconnect this. Okay, nothing happened with the polluted water. So that's great. Still 12 kilograms per towel. And this is 145. Yeah, it's a little bit hotter on this side, but it's not that bad. Oh, this uh, actually activated for a little bit, but yeah, we're going to get more performance out of this in the future. Okay, this is now filling up a little bit. I don't need to have it too full. So actually I can already reconnect this pipe and make sure we get a loop. And at this point we can disconnect this and reconnect the pipe on the other side again. This should be a lot more powerful now because we're using super coolant. So with these uh, volcanoes slash fence, we need to be a little bit careful what we dig up. Typically the tile that is uh, on top of the second neutronium tile and then two up, this one needs to be not dug up if you don't want to activate the volcano. And this is a minor volcano, okay. It's idle, so it's actually active. So we need to be careful that we don't dig it up because lava will come out. And uh, we don't want to, that's to, that to happen. Let's actually just dig up these we can do, these we can do. Let's leave the rest up in there. And uh, we can also check out what this is. All right, these uh, pipes actually also generate a bit of heat. So what I'm going to do, well, this is ceramic. Whoops. I should have made them out of igneous rock. That's my bad. Uh, so I'm going to fill up this here also with some tiles. Uh, one at a time, of course, because otherwise I cannot reach it. But we're going to make uh, some tiles here to cover these pipes so they don't leak uh, heat that much. Uh, down here we have a chlorine gas vent, uh, which is dormant. Don't see much use for it now. Um, so I'm probably going to just cover it in insulated tiles. Maybe in the future we're going to use it for um, a bomb lily, lily farm or something like that. So let's just uh, cover this up. And also down here and on the other side as well. But let's do that at the end. So when it comes to materials that I want to bring over, uh, I want to start uh, with, let's remove everything here. And then we're going to go to liquefiables. And then we're going to take everything here. But I want to make this sweep only for now. So that we can empty this room as quickly as possible. This is actually dormant, so maybe I should skill scrub bunny and then analyze this chlorine gas gas fan so we can just uh, close it off completely. We have some carbon dioxide in here, which is a little bit annoying. Let's actually just set up the skill scrubber approximately here. Uh, no, let's not put it. Let's put it here and then also connect it up. That way we can get rid of the uh, demolition skill because I think I have removed everything that requires it and now it's just a waste okay this is in so let's put bunny in here and then we we'll get her skills reset ah uh, for some reason this backed up now so that means we have too much petroleum in here let's actually drain a bit from this pipe actually let's drain it from here until we get some movement again yeah okay it's moving again uh, so this petroleum we can just uh, sweep up and put in our storage again. It's a little bit hot, but it's going to be merged with uh, the other petroleum here. So it's not really an issue. Okay, in the meantime, Bunny is back uh, and skill scrubbed. So let's give her back her skills. So carrying, improved carrying. Uh, we're going to go exosuit training, digging, and um, we will give her field research. So this is dormant. Let's dig up this and then analyze it. Oh, whoops. Uh, we brought a lot of ice over, of course. We need to make sure that we also sweep this up. So let's give that a bit of priority here. Otherwise, we're going to get a mess. As we do here. And you can see our steam um, room is finally getting a bit at the temperature and these steam engines are now producing quite a bit of power actually. 300 watts here, 235 watts, 255. This in total is um, probably close to 1.5 kilowatts of power. 
all for free. And our batteries have never been fuller. All right, we analyze the chlorine gas vents. Uh, it's gonna be active in 45 cycle, which is fine. Um, and the rest is also not that important. Let's just sweep up this data, 11 data banks, uh, and then we just close it off. All right, that means there's one more vent or volcano that I want to figure out, and that's here at the bottom. So I'm actually just gonna go from here, go up, and then dig out a bit so I can see what we are dealing with here. All right, let's see what we have here. It is a hydrogen vent and it's actually dormant. Interesting. But yeah, uh, let's leave that closed for now because we cannot really, yeah, we, we can make a contraption for it, but it will take too much time. So let's just work a little bit at the top here. Um, I want to finalize this stuff here. Oh, it seems that our metal refinery is stuck again. Uh, so let's empty one or more pipes again. Okay, let's stop. And then we can sweep this up. It's a little bit of uh, micromanagement because we put in a little, I guess a little bit too much petroleum. Maybe we shouldn't have these uh, extra pipes in the loop. But yeah, slowly we'll figure it out and get around to it. Yeah, it looks like uh, this is a lot better because now the open pipe is always empty. All right, here I think I want to make in this area a area where we can cool down materials that come out of here because everything in here is going to be over 100 degrees. Uh, and that's a little bit too much to uh, to deal with. So I'm going to make a, another ladder here and then we're going to make some radiant pipes. And I'm going to just make dots all over here. This is going to of course be our cooling loop that goes through here. Then we also need to have rails there. So conveyor rails, let's make them just out of copper ore. So make that with dots. Don't think we need to have gas pipes in there. That would be a bit much. Although I could just add them just in case. Let's just do it. Um, so gas pipes. And then once we have all of that in place, we can uh, add some metal tiles on top of those. So we're just going to do it like this. And then once all of those are done, we're going to make the other uh, line here as well. And then we can make some insulated tiles at the bottom. I'm not going to make that out of ceramic, but out of igneous rock there. And then uh, we can encase all of this. So we already made quite a bit of progress here of course our volcano is still active uh, which means we cannot really enable it but this volcano i want to uh, fill a pretty re big reservoir with magma we can use a big part of the space here for that and then i guess at some point maybe down here we can make a petroleum boiler with all the power that we get from here we can use the magma to heat our crude oil that we get right now out of here and maybe in the future for more oil reservoirs into petroleum because we only need to heat our uh, crude oil to 400 degrees in order to make that happen and that means we don't need to use the oil refinery anymore but yeah we have a lot of uh, things to do here i think what i'm going to do is add another bed and another mess table here we have plenty of berry sludge we have a toilet and um, yeah, we, we should be okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is in the next episode, I'm going to send over another duplicate so we can do this with uh, two. Uh, because this is quite a big task for Bunny alone. Let me know in the comments who you want me to send over to help Bunny on this planetoid. We have two Apple suits, so that's great. So next time we're going to try and dig out all of this stuff here. Uh, maybe a lot uh, off camera as well, so we don't have to follow everything. And maybe also this volcano will be idle, uh, will be dormant in the next episode. So I am going to leave it there. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And see you in the next video.